Welcome to the APSU TV Sports Zone. I'm Jamar Perkins, giving you the best of Austin P Sports. The Austin P Governors traveled to Eastern Kentucky University this past Saturday to take on a former OBC opponent and soon to be new A Sun foe when the Governors make the move to their conference next year. EKU was able to defeat the Govs 35 to 27. Draylon threw the ball 55 times for 298 yards on 27 completions, but added three interceptions. This helped EKU bring home the victory, even though the Governors outgained them by 130 yards during the game. Austin P will be back home for a matchup against state rival Tennessee State University on Saturday at 7 p.m. And this will also be our homecoming game, so make sure to come out and celebrate with our Governor family. Earlier this week, our own Jeff Matthews sat down with offensive lines coach Josh Cochran to talk about the team's mindset heading into Saturday's game. Now joining me on Inside the Film Room, offensive line coach, Coach Josh Cochran. Welcome back to Inside the Film Room. We appreciate having you. Thank you. Always appreciate you having me on. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and dive right into this previous week against EKU. Austin Peay didn't get the result they were looking for. Can you kind of give me a little bit of a recap on the offense and just kind of give me your overall thoughts on the performance? Yeah, we, um, you know, it was very disappointing. Um, you know, we, we, we take, we completely take 100% of the blame as the coaching staff. Um, you know, uh, I feel like you know the guys. The guys did give a good effort, um, but just the execution wasn't there. And um, we have to, as a coaching staff, have to have to uh, get them uh, prepared and ready to go. Um, so we have to do a better job. Um, but just really, um, you know, being an offensive line coach, I, I think uh, we we got to be more physical this week. Um, it comes down to uh, being the most physical um, team on the field. And uh, we, we struggled with that this past week, and we're going to uh, get that corrected this week. Austin P's stat line had the offense at 400 yards, and I truly believe that each play on the offense starts in the trenches with the offensive line. Can you touch on pushing that drive when things seem to be going your way, however the scoreboard reflects differently? Can you touch on those emotions on the sideline? Yeah, it, it, it's that's just part of football, you know. Um, the, the turnover battle is, is so, so crucial um, in just finishing drives, um, whether it's, you know, getting stopped on, on the goal line, um, really disappointing on the offensive line, then, you know, had a couple inter interceptions, and that's that's not all on DJ. we got to protect better. Uh, the receivers have to make sure we're running the correct routes uh, with urgency. Um, so that's just us as a, as a whole offense. Um, we have to execute better. Um, but we did do, like you said, we had 400 yards, did do some good things. So there's there's good carryover from that week. Um, you know, failure's never final. Um, as long as we um, learn from that that loss, um, we can become a better team. Um, so failure's growth. There. Learning from the loss, that's a huge point that a lot of people make in these kind of situations. Can you give me one takeaway that you would love to really beat down this week for the Governors? You know, I, I think it's um, playing clean football, uh, making sure we um, do, do not turn the ball over, and number one, and then also, um, like I kind of touched on earlier, being a more physical team. Um, and that starts with uh, us up front in the trenches. Uh, we want to make sure and um, establish, establish um, you know, a good run game that can uh, help, help the passing game and really help the offense all around. Coach, I really appreciate you joining us on Inside the Film Room, and good luck this week against TSU. Now let's take a look at what Coach Eddie George of the TSU Tigers and our own Coach Scotty Walden had to say about their matchup this weekend. Yeah, uh, we definitely took a step back last week um, against SEMO. Uh, learned a lot about our team, uh, who we are, who we're becoming. Um, you know, missed opportunities to, to make it a close game. It got away from us. Uh, we were definitely bludgeoned. <laughs> Um, on the offensive, uh, the defensive line, uh, by you know them rushing the ball 58 times, we took 58 body blows, and um, if anything, that's what we want to look like in the future. Um, but you know, in each loss, there's always a lesson, and um, our guys are taking on the chin, taking accountability, ability for where we are, coaching staff as well, and we just got to get better um, through it all, and, that, and that's what we intend to do. Oh, I expect it to be lively. Um, it's a beautiful atmosphere, wonderful, wonderful environment. Kudos to Austin P for really upgrading their facilities, state of the art, love it. I um, had a chance to watch uh, Tennessee State play up there in the spring, actually. And uh, yes, I, I can expect it's going to be a, a lot of people, it's going to be loud, it's going to be raucous. 
um, under the lights uh, uh, Saturday night. It, I mean, what's, what's better than that, you know? So it's going to be um, a lot of energy that, that we're looking to forward to. And then you throw the fact that, hey, this is a, a rivalry game. There's a lot of intense feelings between both programs. Uh, should be a lot of excitement. Should be a lot of fun. It's 100% on me as, as a head coach of this program. I, I, I take full responsibility ownership. Um, you know, I felt like I didn't do a good job of managing our program last week. Uh, I felt like I didn't do a good job of managing the game um, and putting our players in the best position to be successful. And that's something I'll be better at. But I always point the finger right here first. And then uh, we go to corrections, you know, per, per side of the ball. And uh, we, I feel like we've made those corrections. I've been really pleased so far with how our guys have responded with a great Sunday night practice and a great practice this morning. Uh, there's a lot of change schematically um, in what they do, but personnel wise, there's a few new guys I, I see out there, but uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the guys I saw in the spring are still matriculating out there. And of course the key guys, um, you know, like, as you mentioned, uh, Devon Starling, who is, I think one of the best running backs in the league and hard to tackle. And I think, you know, against us, we really didn't get to see him. I think he was kind of just coming on the scene and, and now he's rolling. And so we got a big time test to tackle him and, um, and forgive me, I forget this young man's name, but number five, their kick returner, their wide receiver, um, unbe- like that, 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 that guy's got my respect. He's, he's an unbelievable player. And I, I think he's one of the fastest dudes in this league. And, uh, and then you got Hickenbottom at quarterback, who I think is just a solid, I think that guy puts the ball in the right spots. He's completed about 60% of his passes. Um, you know, they, they, they got a good thing going and, and, you know, shoot, there's great coaches over there, NFL coaches. You got Hugh Jackson calling the offense. You got Jeff Fisher's son, Brandon, calling the defense. And they, they, I mean, this is NFL staff, guys. I mean, these guys are good. Austin Peay's volleyball team was able to make a statement and start conference play on the right foot this past weekend with back-to-back -back home wins against the Moorhead State Eagles. The first matchup was a 3-2 victory, while the second matchup was a 3-1 win for the Govs. Kelsey Meade led the team during their first win with 37 assists, but she was not done yet as she added 22 assists in the second matchup against the Eagles. Austin Peay will be back home Friday at 6 p.m. and Saturday at 11 a.m. against the SIUE as they look to continue their win streak. Thank you for tuning in to the APSU TV Sports Zone, and as always, let's go Peay.